what's up guys this is the broken and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire at war let's play as the kingdom of portugal and in this episode we are fighting off a small french army that is attempting to siege us we're going to deploy outside of the walls and then push push them away from our newest conquest then i'm probably going to want to moderate my gains uh, such that i can focus on securing the iberian peninsula i think that would be the most worthwhile thing, thing to do, especially now that the French are at war with us. Uh, there is a chance that this will be the only real force in Europe that we'll be destroying. But we've got to be prepared for them to make us work for it. So, we can deploy quite far out. So let's got my line infantry in the center formations of militia on either flank the bulk of my light infantry together Gener generally because I usually fight uh, light infantry weird to micro because I end up it has been pointed out before and it's a fair comment I ooh. I micromanage a lot. And yeah, that's a fair comment. So I want to deploy my cavalry to counter theirs. Most of their troops have deployed beyond the crest of this hill, so my men will advance. Yeah, my main desire was try and knock out that cavalry quite quickly. My artillery is engaging whoever they like. Forming a nice little defensive position. I'm hoping I can outflank it. I might put my pikes on this flank. Ooh, okay. Guns and limber. Oh, I've left a militia behind. I want to limber up my guns because there was a shot there that showed that the trajectory was quite poor for getting over my infantry. Good. I want to shatter their cavalry because I didn't want them to retreat behind my lines and then intercept my artillery. Let's run my militia up because they ju just skirted the edge of our position. So let's begin to engage. Probably going to want my lights to push a bit further out on the flank. Their skirmishes aren't going to beat ours. This formation make a solid advance towards the enemy line. You men can run to the top of the hill. Engage the general's bodyguard in defence. They may attack. You may also engage the general's bodyguard with skirmish fire at range. My main hope was to try and... Ooh, okay, they're coming. You're going to... My irregulars are going to stay out here. But you men are going after my... Yeah, my chev the Chevaux Leger very well. That's going to be the focus of their attack. And we will focus on the other flank. Run, Michele! My, throwing my general in is a bit of a gamble, but these are a Lancer cavalry unit. They will suffer in typical combat. Pikemen are out of position. You can keep engaging the general's bodyguard. Maybe this militia might try and gang up on them. You continue to engage. The general. 
new men advance up to the French line. Because at least my troops have bayonets. So if we can break the Cheval Leger. Human advance to engage the militia. And Mikhailov come back. Let's run them like so. They might just charge my cavalry in with some militia for support. Human advance. Actually, you men push the demi cannons. Enemy cavalry defeated. It's probably a good argument to say I should just. Well, those occurred to Bois, so yes, advance into them. Both of these units are bayonet equipped. Whereas France does not have bayonets. Yeah, there's the enemy re reserve. So the Irish Brigade plus Militia form the new line. New men form. Form up. Got a large melee fight going on here. Try and do some whittling down. Yeah, fight is not my issue. Okay, it's going to be a musket fight. In which case, you men can't wait. So I need to get more line infantry in on this fight on the right flank. Push my militia up. We need to swarm, swarm, swarm. Let's try and prevent. You men engage the 24th because you've got. You can do some good kills. Quite close range. Okay, where's my general's bodyguard? Send him to pursue the 20th Regiment. We will want to try and capitalise on our advantage. So everyone except the cavalry, make sure the fire at wills turned off. So you might chase after the 20th and get the general to chase after the 1st. You're going to focus on the 3rd Regiment of Infantry. You men all fire will off. They're probably going to rout, so there's a limited effect here. Yep, there they go. But when I say rout, I typically mean uh, leave the battle map, because they are currently routing. So my general can go off the first. You men go off the 20th. Try with all your might to get as many kills as you can. Down to 40 odd. Go right click off, then make them attack again. Excellent. It was certainly a dodgy victory, I'll give them that. Not dodgy in the sense that I thought we were going to lose, but dodgy in the sense that that's men I did not want to lose. But we're starting to get income again. We're starting to get income again. You men are sieging Gibraltar, to be honest. They, mm. You're going to siege them, but I may end up pulling them back, because we are recruiting some artillery to help out, but my concern would be, would be being mobbed. But they can siege for now. Let's see if we can get a temporary 
peace and trade with France. I was hoping. I don't offer them ring bayonet. I can't offer them anything else. Fair enough. Over in the Americas. You men are just holding on to this island because they're not doing anything about it. See, the French have taken Nassau, which was a bit of a bummer. You're going to hold here to prevent them from earning money from Nassau. Or at least for as much as possible. Salamanca cannot be rebuilt yet. Not until we get this resistance to foreign occupation down. We want to focus on... Okay, I need to dispatch an army to de I need to dispatch troops to deal with an incursion to the south because I don't want them attacking my port. Yeah, I have to fight it. Okay. Um, heavily defensive is the name of the game here. Heavily, heavily defensive. Because they've got lots of pikemen, so if we... If we close the distance too much, they're just going to swarm us with melee troops. Good. Deploy on the defensive. Or at least as defensive as possible. And it also means they're more to cruise will abandon the guns. Ooh. This position is enticing to a degree. If they come up here great we come up here not so great that's not a great field of fire because we've got mortars we don't want to deploy up in front of our deployment zone probably want to deploy more like back here and it does mean sadly abandoning the high ground it's what we have to do We need to deploy to the rear, maximise our ability. Well, maximise the fact they can't shoot the hell out of us with howitzers. <laughs> yeah, they deployed all the way back over there. I wonder if they could have reached us with their mortars then. Where are they? There they are. Oh, still, it's two units. So my usual... My usual MO with mortars is to go on the offensive, but with so many pikes, I'm not sure I want to do that. Instead, I want to have my long line, and if they do push through the tr push through the this area of land here, I can fold this line up against this impassable terrain. I don't want to push up it because I don't want them to try and go up this hill and outflank me. In which case, I will pull this line back to deal with it. But they, they're attacking me, so I'm... There we go, the Mortars crews have abandoned their guns. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try and form their line. In a way, that'll be good, because it means that these ones will hit us first, and we can focus on trying to knock them out. Well, we are going to get into fisticuffs. It's just going to happen. Not before these guys... <laughs> get into shooting range. Yeah, another reason... Well, like, like, for example, these guys are going to fire but do nothing, because there's terrain in the way. And that whole thing is the reason why up here is a bit tricky. Because you don't necessarily... You would want to be here to do lots of really good damage to them, but even then, that's quite a narrow pass to hold, especially without something like fire by rank that would allow for much more firepower. So we're going to keep on speeding up time. They're both shattered. Yeah, we it's tempting to advance slightly because some of this terrain is actually a bit better. But even then, only marginally, it's quite undulating. And when you've got these early game armies, Because if you push up to here, say... 
We still get a reasonably good field of fire. I could try and get my skirmishes up here to fire into the flank. Two militia to hold back here. But the main thing is to try and lure them out. Because now we've got rid of their mortars. Yeah, they are gone. Well, I suppose I am being a bit foolish because there is definite opportunity here to attack one end of their line. Yeah, I was worried there because I had the right click selected. And I was like, ooh, do I want to pull the trigger? Don't think I do. If they try to push my militia, then I will. So they are just going to, in general, redeploy. Ah, there we go. Good. Push up some pikemen. Pikemen, pikemen. God, that's a lot of pikes. But at least if they advance this regiment of foot. What I don't want to see is anyone come up here. Because if they do, then my militia up here will get some business. If they don't, my men can gather, can position here to shoot down into the open ground. I don't get... I suppose they're being coy because they don't want to attack... position here on the right flank fall back to something like trouble is can they negotiate this they can just these men need to just hold the line do much damage from up here. Still, they're dithering. Dithering is good in range of so many men. At least when, if they try to push the right flank with melee attacks, we should get a bit of an advantage on them. Try get my general up here. Pikemen are, sh are shaken. They're getting shot by their own men as well, which is nice. I'm dithering because on this flank I don't have the the, the space to manoeuvre. I would like my cavalry to have. And they will need a space to manoeuvre, because cavalry are particularly susceptible, or pikemen are particularly susceptible to cavalry charges in the rear, which is why I want my general up here. Wavering. Keep the cavalry coming. Good, that's one unit backing it off. These men are just militia. Skirmishers just don't. This is a bad spot for my skirmishers. These men push through that gap. 
picking off these pikemen there, shaking. So it's the morale that we need to count on. Or lack of it, I should say. This is the uncomfortable moment. Keep my cavalry mobile. I'll try and go after the Spanish bandits, but try not to get bogged down. Okay, this is the danger moment. General, general, general. Chase them. Pursue them. Drive them off. You man, hold that pass. It's exactly like Rome. Just keep attacking. Do not let them recover. We cannot allow those pikemen to recover. So I want you men to do good work here. These units take position to engage that garrison unit. General's bodyguard pursue. Where? Ah, where'd they come from? Spanish bandits. Militia, get up here and hit those bandits. Skirmishers will get involved in this fight here. Excellent. So now my militia can push up a little bit more. You men can engage the rear of this garrison line. Shattered, shattered. It is just this one regiment here that's still routing. See, now they're going after my cavalry. You men form up. There we go. Finally engage the Spanish bandits. You're engaging the 7th in the flank. These men are all also engaging the 7th. Shattered is the word of the day. Although killing a regiment of pikemen would be quite decisive as well. Form my line, because you've still got some units of pikes that are in good condition. And these pikes that are in interested in this, these units of militia, so form up. Might kill an entire regiment of pikes here, which would be perfect. Might kill two, actually. And seventh will. Seventh regiment of foot will collapse soon. Excellent. General, retreat to your new defensive line. Any minute now, the seventh would route. That would be pretty much perfect. Don't let that unit get away from you. We go behind the lines. How goes your action? Spanish bandits are winning slightly. I suppose they are slightly more melee oriented. The 7th Regiment are advancing up to my lines. And they are broken. I was anticipating that unit of pike of musketmen pulling back to engage my infantry here. Oh, you've got three pikemen to kill. Should be able to get them. Two becomes one. 
Perfect. Keep my cavalry moving out wide. Pikemen destroyed. Pursue them. This regiment of horse come around. General, oh, you almost ran slap bang into that pike unit. Well, you might have to engage these Spanish bandits. Although, do they have range weapons? They do. Oh, could see the general get, get killed behind the lines here. Hey, those bandits actually killed my militia unit. Well, good for them. Oh, my general bodyguard routed the bandits as well. Okay, I need to push my infantry up to my generals being left without friends. Ah, pikemen, run, run, run. This could be the end of my general. They're going to take a lot of damage. I oh, know he's up front here, I see him. back behind the lines my regiment of horse can hail Mary his way across just get my general behind the lines as long as he's not shot from the saddle from one of his own men Charge these pikemen. Redeploy the general. You men face off against the new cavalry. This regiment of horse go after the pikemen. They're not scary once they get into the melee. Charge people in to kill the bandits. You men cease fire. See, they do, they do dig their feet in. But I want to get my general's bodyguard out. You men just pursue their infantry. <laughs> Go for the body, go for the general first. My men are going to intercept your Spanish bandits. She went on quite a good collision course to intercept the Spanish bandits. are going to continue. Those men might actually get run down by my own infantry, which is perfect. Okay, the Spanish bandits have detoured. Yeesh. Will you, will you men kill off? Yeah, you did. Nice. Excellent. Alright, let's speed up time, because we're just mopping up. gaining some good experience and importantly just keeping those Spanish troops bottled up in Gibraltar and I'm hoping after Gibraltar they will accept the fact that they've lost the territory I am hoping oh, you guys can help here as well come on in the pikemen are lovely Gotta keep on mashing that right click to reset the the logic. There we go. 
Nice. So that could have been a bit dicey, but there we go. It's 500 men remaining. But yeah, I'm hoping if I take Gibraltar, I can secure a peace with Spain. Might be hoping against hope, but there we are. In the meantime, I'm going to focus my research on um, military technologies where possible. So I want to try and race to fire by rank, because being a small nation, I really need it. My economy is hanging by a thread, but that's just a, a fact of what we do. Lots of our trade comes in through a small number of ports, and it just becomes very difficult to uh, hold on to them. Especially when you've got such an uncooperative population like you have in occupied Madrid. Once they get into their heads that we're not here to ruin their time... To be honest, it's probably worth knocking down the church school and just replacing it with a coaching inn to get that more immediate happiness bonus. Uh, we've effectively taken it. Take the territory. Spain. Peace. Nope, understandable. Uh, we want to try and get cannons over to Gibraltar. You stay near Mysore, but don't do anything. Cadiz can be destroyed. Sandy Bay we're going to keep, and we're going to recruit two sloops to occupy the ports. It's quite unfortunate, really, because we cannot afford to dispatch men. Stop the French. From raiding. What if I offered you ring bayonet? Will we just will we be able to get peace and trade? Nope. They really don't like us. Ooh, we can try to get trade with Morocco. Oh. Trade. And I offer you plug bayonet. It really doesn't help having our monarch because he reduces our diplomatic relations all the time. Okay, who can I afford? Okay, I'm going to have to combine units. Because I can, I can deal with a certain amount of unrest. Do you want the gun? Can I get the pikeman as well? I can. God, so much money to replenish. To replenish our line infantry units chiefly. Jose Figo. Assuming that his force is quite depleted. Just drop him in the way. There we go, 600. So we've just researched improved farming. So let's try find our most profitable farms. Actually, I could do with repairing that coaching in because that will give us an immediate happiness boost for some people. And I would love to repair this school, but... Although, well, no, it will give us resistance to... It will give us minus four in happiness, so I really can't afford to do that at the minute. Apart from that, leave everything else the way they are. Is my strategy. Probably want to focus my reinforcement efforts in Europe. Just try to combine units together as well as possible and focus on replenishing line infantry units first okay unfortunate we couldn't get you to the, bring you to the, the trading table portugal is plus 10 
So Evora may go on to empiricism. In tech rate, tech research rate increases plus town wealth growth minus 10% research time for all techs is good. And it'll allow us to build colleges. It will increase unhappiness in Salamanca once it eventually gets rebuilt. But for now, actually what I might do is send some units out to occupy these ports so they don't get used by the enemy. And ultimately, if I keep a reasonable fleet there, I prevent the Moroccans from being able to cross the strait and attack me. But if I can hold off the French, and potentially down the line, yes, we are going to intercept you. If I can build up a, a spare quote-unquote army to threaten Paris. That could be very useful. I'd love to expand more in the Americas though. That would be my my goal. But for now, I want to spend my budget on securing ooh, good territory here. Good. I'm not ashamed to play defensive. We need it. We need these victories. Because this little victory here would help helps protect my port. Let's speed up time. But yeah, most of their troops are depleted. They've got a bit of cavalry, but not much. My guns pick the strongest infantry unit they got and hammer them. Previously, they were going for... Actually, let's go for their general. Their, their general's really quite good. If we could knock him out of the game, that would be most useful. Another volley. Boom. Missed. Okay. Focus on the near threat. My wing. And pivot. My pikes redeploy. Cavalry's pushing in. They're, yeah, they are going to be chased away. Hear their cavalry charge. Gendarmerie gonna take some shots from the militia. Not enough to be decisive, but my regiment of horse will take them on. Provide them some backup from the pikemen in case of a fluke accident where my captain is killed. Now they'll be cut down. Oh, the gendarmerie is stuck in amongst our men. Excellent. Regiment of horse, push up. I want that general. He's really quite a capable general. Number my guns up. Push my pikemen up the flank. His pikes against early infantry are pretty good. Still no bayonets. Kill the general. He is a capable force command commander. You men push in. Ah, oh, my pikemen are wavering. 
Sad face. Go on, kill him. He's right there. He's the last one alive. Nice, got him. Charge that infantry concentration in the rear. Fourth, because they're the more experienced army, more experienced unit. There we go. Let's try and mop up as much as we can with one cavalry unit. Should probably do quite a good job, actually. Come on. So you might have to go for the third regiment of militia. You men will eventually catch up to them. Oh, every time you right click, a handful more. Oh, I must have messed it up there. Still, this unit of militia is going down. Well, they've gone down. You've got into fisty cuss with the remaining unit there. Nice. So that is a French raiding force. Defeated. Slaughtered to a man. That bridge might be quite a strategic hold, but the challenge is... Well, it would provide some time. It would blunt a French advance. I'm hoping my, sh my ships in Nassau will prevent that French fleet from redeploying. But once Spain becomes, once Madrid becomes happier with the idea of being ruled by the Portuguese, I will feel more confident expanding my trade empire in the Americas. Knowing that the home is safe, because I can lose territory in America and it won't be too devastating. But if I lose territory in Europe, it is devastating. So we have a handful of small armies able to conduct military operations. Tactically, the best option would be to try and... Oh, I need to keep raiding the Barbary States as well to prevent them from building ships. Because, yeah, that's... Ooh. So just send the San Antonio across to raid the port and come back. If you raid, what does that give us? <laughs> Not a huge amount different. 1,064 before. Gives us 60 for risking a fifth rate. I don't think so. Okay, right. So. We have precious little money. But every turn we survive, Spain becomes more amenable. A big part of it is this. Yeah, it's the blockade. It's the blockade of trade. So I don't want them to be doing. I can I can interfere with Iran and keep them blockaded. Or I could, I could use my agent, actually, to try and sabotage their building. I don't really want to upgrade this to a local fishery. I'm ambivalent about doing too much spending up here in Andorra because it's quite far away from the front. Bilbao will grow. Tempted to grow this talented farm in Lisbon because Lisbon's happier so I can build industrial buildings here quicker two more turns to empiricism 
then it's on to the military syllabus, then the drill school, then fire by rank. At some point, I will deal with these pirates. Then I would like Caracas. That's what I'd like, but I think realistically it's going to be Santo Domingo. Good amount of trade resources. And then Cuba. I think that's the direction we're going to be heading. So let's hope that Britain clears the trade. There we go. See, they're adding ships to their uh, to their fleet. Ooh, that's bad. That's an oh, that's another French colonial colonially recruited army coming to kill us. Spain's attacking Trinidad. That's not good at all. You want 2,300 for common land enclosures? Sure thing, Poland. I want to say that our ability to win in the colonies is severely hampered by the desire for the AI to kill us, so our focus may have to be in Europe. Bring Spain under control march one force towards Paris and take take it for ourselves because nobody wants to give us the opportunity to expand and I will work on securing the remaining Spanish territory well, I suppose the Spanish territories might be the easiest ones to get in the short term go for Sardinia, go for Naples election results. Ooh, big, big chunk of change. So in theory, as long as the Moroccans don't blockade me, they won't be able to cross this strait. So let's take this sloop, get them out of there. I don't upgrade that port yet. Yeah, you are going to take it. Although... See, if I hadn't dithered and just killed these guys when I could, I could have shipped these guys across to fight them. Okay, let's repair. Military governor's barracks. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. I need to start selectively retraining my army now because I would like to take Cagliari send a sloop to go have a look because you have a silver mine they'll have a reasonable garrison but it won't be a super one Think the name of the game is to upgrade this vineyard. Grand Opera House would also be a good get to bring them under our control sooner rather than later. Let's get another trade port for Madrid to try and open up some resiliency here. Cartagena, because we've also got Bilbao and we've also got Mallorca. you men leave Madrid you can because then we could start to build up a reasonable army to go and attack Cagliari you men well, you're providing good early warning of what's going on so I probably don't want to move you that's the main route from troops from Paris heading our way up that west coast road 29 gold. There's not a lot I can really do with that. Then let's take this army and attack that pirate force like I should have done ages ago, but was kicking it off too much into the distance. Then I'd like to recruit some extra militia units and send them to Cagliari. 
Okay. Guns stay at range and engage. Militia. Push up with my pikes. So I was I yeah, I wanted to upgrade the colonial military governor's barracks because I wanted I want to try and increase my my ability to recruit. Just even just colonial line infantry would be better than militia. But we're going to run through the town as quickly as we can. Push the flank. Keep my pikemen close as a reserve while pushing through the town. Yeah, if I'd fought them, I could have shit sailed these guys to the south and taken Trinidad. Trinidad. If I have to take it back from them, I will. Well, I will have to. <laughs> but we're going to be in a position to start engaging their 12 pounders. A volley of musketry may be enough to chase them away. Yes, it is. Ooh, it's also enough to make the militia waver as well. So let's get set up. We'll try and wrap my militia here around the flank. taking the long way round somewhat. Firing into the mass of men. They're going to fire their pistols. There we go. We're going to surround them quite handily. going to come to blows here. I at least want my guys to get the bonuses for charging rather than being charged. If we jump on this fairly quickly we may be able, may be, be able to end this quite quickly. Hoping the if these buccaneers break, we'll have lost a very few men. Pursue them to make sure they are defeated. Bring my pikemen over to attack the buccaneers. <laughs> Might lose a few men there, but I'm hoping I can make them break. There we go, nice. So as long as no one comes back. Game over. Excellent. So we didn't lose too many men except for that final bayonet charge. Yeah, lost 100 men, but pirates are dead. And now the these people are happy that we are here. If we leave, they're only minus one. So the end is not he necessarily here. You men can get over to the port, get into Trinidad and Tobago. My weak unit, my weakest unit, can reinforce everyone else. We will get two extra units to attack Felipe de Madonca, or if he doesn't attack us first. But yes, the military governor's encampment. Does get us colonial militia. We can get dragoons, 12 pounders. It's all good stuff.
I need to be a, I need to be a careful of the fact that I might be thinning my armies down somewhat. Can't do anything for 29,000. 29 gold, I don't think. Nope. Hoping against hope. Oh, that's going to be coming my way. That's exactly the MO of the AI. And we got an extra... We got a, a firelock arm citizenry and a mortar unit, which is okay. Um, but looking at the timer, I think we're going to end the episode here. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the defense of San Jose de Orona. Cheers, everyone.